Well, hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel for uh, the returning viewers. For uh, new viewers, uh, welcome to Larry's House of Hockey. So, <clears throat> we know the, uh, the the PWHL, the new women's, uh, the new uh, professional women's hockey league, is going to be uh, getting underway soon. And we saw, you know, because I know, I know for me, I kind of wondered, okay, you know, we know the six cities, we know the six places, the six teams, but I'm like, why don't we have names? Why don't we have logos yet? What's what's going on? Well, then we come to find out when they release the jerseys, there's there's no names. There's no names. There's no logos. It's just the cities that they're in, the cities or you know the cities or states that they're in. And I know I did not really like that. I did not like that a lot. Didn't really like it at all. Because I thought, you got to have a brand, right? You know, branding. You got to have some kind of branding, right? Well, I think we kind of found out why they chose not to have any names. Because some of the names that were apparently trademarked by... Uh, a place called PWHL Holdings. They filed. They 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 applied for trademarks for six particular names for these cities, and none. Uh, there's maybe two of them that you could come up with a logo for. The rest of them, it, what? So let me go through some of these. Let me go through exactly what some of these names are that were that were applied for trademark wise first you have the Ottawa Alert okay the Ottawa Alert um what's the logo going to be how do you come how do you come up with a logo for for alert I mean, do you come up with maybe like a, you know, like a tornado siren type thing? Do you have, you know, is, is it, is it basically, you know, a logo of like a big giant, like tornado siren? Like we, like, like we have here where, you know, every, I think like every, I think like once a month they, they run the tornado sirens as a test. So, so maybe the auto alert, you just have, have a, a big tornado siren type thing for a logo and that's your and that's your 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 logo i don't know a lot, a lot of people probably wouldn't know what the heck it is so you'd probably have to put you know over top of the the tornado siren you probably have to put alert oh i just thought okay kind of odd but you know i don't know the boston wicked Um, the Boston Wicked. So, okay, what's the logo going to be? Are you going to put a witch on a broom? You know, for like the Wicked Witch? You know, Wicked, Wicked, Wicked Witch of the West? Uh, you know, I mean, we do, we do know, you know, we do know, you know, Salem, Massachusetts, you know, I mean, you know, the, the, you know, the Salem Witch Trials. You know where people were burnt. People were were burned at the stake for being witches. So maybe maybe the Boston Wicked. You come up with a you you put a witch on a broom. Don't think that'd go over that well. But what else are you coming up with for Wicked? Again, I don't know. Minnesota Superior. Okay. So, does that mean you just take the outline of Lake Superior? You basically you you go and you look at that you go and you look at Lake Superior, and you just take the entire outline of that lake. Which, by the way, Lake Superior is the biggest of all the Great Lakes. Do you just take the outline of that lake, slap it on the jersey, and then put Minnesota Superior right in the in the outline? I mean, 
that maybe could work. I don't know how well that would look, but maybe uh, I don't know. I guess I, I I don't know that the 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 outline of Lake Superior is what I first thought of when I heard that name, and I thought, hmm, I don't know. The Montreal Echo. Okay, what 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 logo do you have for an Echo? How do you how do you have how do you create a logo for a team named the Echo? Somebody's got a crazy idea out there. What you know, what what kind of logo you could come up with for the name Echo? I would love to hear it because I have no clue. I have no clue what kind of what kind of logo you could come up with to to you know correspond with the team name Echo. If any of you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section. Very similar thing to the New York Sound. Okay, what's the logo for that going to be? You're trying, you're, again, you're, you're trying to come up with a logo that corresponds for the team name Sound. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I have no idea. I literally have no idea. I mean, how do you... I mean, you project sound. We all project sound. My voice is creating sound right now. What do you do for a logo? What's the logo for it? Again, if you guys have if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section. Now, this one actually kind of makes sense because you it it it, it honestly kind of flows together, and you could come up with a logo for it: the Toronto Torch. So, obviously, you know, we know what a torch looks like. You know, I mean, you can even, you can even, you can even borrow, you know, you can even borrow the design from, say, the Statue of Liberty or the Olympic torch. You know, make it look, make it look like a torch. Maybe find a way to, to incorporate a couple of hockey sticks in there. And, uh, you know, and, you know, where like, you know, you get, you get like a couple of hockey sticks you know, where like, you know, you get one skate go a stick going this way, one skate going stick going this way, and you got a torch in in the middle. That maybe could work with a with a with a with a flame coming out the top. So that actually could potentially work. The others The others I just I don't I don't I don't know. I I don't I don't see it. I mean Again, you could come up with you. I mean, the Toronto Torch is literally the only one that actually would kind of make sense, and that you could literally picture a logo in your head, and you could put that for that team. The rest of these, I don't know. I mean, Minnesota Superior. I mean, I could you know. I mean, I could kind of see. I could kind of see where that name might actually not be so bad because Lake Superior is the biggest lake in of all the Great Lakes and a good chunk of its shoreline is in Minnesota. So you could possibly use that for Minnesota. But again, what do you do? How do you make the logo? Is the logo basically the entire outline of Lake Superior, and then you take you take that outline, and then in the middle in in the middle there you put Minnesota Superior. I don't know, but then it makes one wonder. Okay, you're gonna have the outline. What are you gonna have in the middle? What do you what do you have in the middle? Do you maybe take take like some blue to make it look like water? I don't know. But I mean, the other ones just, I, I mean, the Ottawa Alert, the Montreal Echo, and the New York Sound. Now, with names like these, I can understand why they maybe decided 
you know, maybe we don't, maybe, maybe we'll go just this one season and not have any names. Because, you know, you want to, you want to come up with something decent. Now, of course, I say that thinking that these design teams actually care about what they're doing. Because, as we've seen with design teams that come up with jersey designs, logos, it, it, it's, you're like, hey, we worked, on, we worked for over a year on this. And I'm like, I could have done, done something better in five minutes sitting on the toilet. <laughs> it's like, it's like kind of, it's just, I mean, like, you know, the New, the New Jersey Devils, with the jersey jersey. Some people were saying they worked they they worked on that for months. For months. I I could I could I could think of a better logo and design it in my sleep. I I I don't, I don't know. I just you know when they when they go and say, you know, well, you know, you might, you know, maybe maybe, you know, you you don't you don't want to go wrong on a good brand. Oh, with the design teams this this with the design teams of today, Oh, it's very easy to spend a ton of time on a brand and still screw it up. This is a new league. This is a brand new league. A brand new women's hockey league, which I want to see succeed. I really, really do. Because women's hockey is fun. But to come up with, I mean, to not have any logos or designs... You, to not have any logos or names for the first year, you know, at first when I, I heard that, I was like, that's a little, that's a little disappointing. But then I hear some of these names and I'm like, eh, I guess I can kind of see it. But again, a couple of them aren't horrible. I mean, the Toronto Torch to me is the best one. And that is the one that you literally, you can visualize a logo for the Toronto Torch. Everybody else you know so I do think they probably will go back to I mean you you're obviously gonna have time which sometimes having the amount of time is not the best thing in the world because like I said I've seen I've seen design teams that have gone and said you know oh we've been working on this for for 10 11 12 months and they reveal it and you're like what did you work on? You didn't do anything. You freaking you you took the most lamest thing and just said, "Here you go." Like you know, like like you like you like you looked at you looked at the time and said, "We got 5 minutes. We got 5 minutes and we got to get out of here. Let's let's figure something out." You know, I, so I don't know. I I just I wonder. I just I kind of wonder about what what they're coming up with. But, uh, but yeah, again, I want to see this league succeed. I really do. And hopefully they do kind of go back and try to come up with some better names. But, again, just because you have all this time to sit and work on a, on a, on a logo design or a team name doesn't mean that's, the, doesn't mean that's real good. Because, as we've seen with jerseys and logos in the past, people that have gone and said, we've worked tirelessly for over a year to come up with this. And you look at it and you're just like, and how much were you paid for that? You need to give the money back. I mean, you know, one, one glaring example is, you know, I mean, I grew, I grew up in North Dakota. You know, we had the North Dakota Fighting Sioux for since the early, since the late 18, 1890s or 1880s, and then the whole thing about you know you know Native American names being offensive and all that, which to me they're not. To me, it's just a way of eliminating that eliminating them as a people. But they spent over a quarter of a million dollars. That's that university spent over a quarter of a million dollars to have a design firm from New York design their logo. They spent over a year designing this logo. That logo was revealed and 
I literally looked at it and I said, that's it? That's what they can't... They spent that time of that that amount of time and money on that when they could have had the same guy who had designed the very last uh, North Dakota Fighting Sioux logo. He did a design in a Fighting Hawk style design that was that kind of had that Native American feel, and that logo absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And they wouldn't have had to have spent a quarter of a million dollars. All he would have, all, all he was saying, yeah, give me like ten grand. That's all he would have wanted. And he came up, he and he came up with he came up with that design in I think three days. But no, let's not do anything that makes sense. Because you know, when it comes to designs, jerseys, logos, we don't want anything that makes sense. We don't want anything that looks good. We want something that just looks generic as hell. And Right now, the jerseys are generic as hell. The team names, uh, eh, eh, at least the ones that were initially trademarked, which obviously are not going to stick around. But, boy, oh boy. I, I, I really, I really kind of worry. I really kind of worry because, you know, with no team name, no logos, no nothing. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how good those jerseys are going to sell. I was all anxious to buy, maybe potentially buy one for the first year. But then I saw what they look like. And all it is is the name of the the name of the city or the state. Like like Minnesota. Or you know like really? Minnesota, Boston, Toronto, Ottawa, New York. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys, you know, you know let me, let me, you know, I'd, I'd, lo I'd love to hear you guys sound off and your, your thoughts on these potential names. And when you look at some of these names, are there any potential logos that would, that, that could potentially jump out at you? That would, that would say, hey, that might look good here. Let me know what you guys think. And again, I want this league to succeed. I hope it does. They start in January. And, uh, you know, you know my, my, my prayers for them. You know, I, I, I want to see them. I want to see them playing games in front, of a in front of a bunch of people. I don't want to see them playing games in front of like 100 people. I want to see, you know, I'd, I'd like to see them play games in front of a good chunk of people. So... And that's the other thing. They don't even have area, they don't even have places to play yet. It's another another thing. You know, we're we're only a couple months away from this season starting, and they don't even have the places they don't even have the places to play uh, finalized yet. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, you know, if any of you guys are you know logo enthusiasts or whatever, is there is there logo ideas that you could maybe have that you could think of that might correspond with the names let me know what you guys think about that if you uh, if you enjoyed the video it'd be awesome it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button if you really enjoyed the video again it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified anytime future videos are uploaded you can tap the little bell and uh, it will notify you anytime one of my videos goes live and again let me know what you guys think about the uh, the the trademark applied names and uh you know do you think the do you think the pwhl can succeed or you know can, can it succeed will it succeed do you hope it does or, you, or do you hope it doesn't let me know what you guys think hit like and subscribe i'll see you guys later